Weathering With You, or Tenki no Ko, is an anime movie genre of romance and fantasy that told the story of a boy and a girl who knew that their destiny was falling apart when the balance of the weather got messed up. This anime, which aired in 2019, kept the audience captivated. Without further ado, let's take a look at it together. The story began when a girl named Hina Amano was accompanying her mother, who was lying in a coma at the hospital. She looked out the window and saw the light shining on a building even though it was raining heavily outside that day, covered in overcast clouds. Curious, Hina left the hospital and ran towards the old building to get closer to the light. Unexpectedly on the top of the building, a red tori or shrine gate stood up, and Hina immediately walked into the shrine gate while praying. After passing through the temple gate, she experienced a supernatural event that made her teleport into another world above the clouds and floated like a fish swimming in water. Hina then realized that since that day, she was destined to become a girl who could turn rain into sunny weather and brought bright light. The scene then switched to a 16-year-old boy named Hodaka Morishima, who ran away from home to Tokyo by boarded a ship. Knowing it would rain soon, Hodaka immediately got out on the boat to play with the raindrops. But soon, the rain became very heavy and hit the ship, which made Hodaka slip. At that time, Hodaka could have been thrown into the sea if an adult man named Kisuke had not saved him. As an expression of his gratitude, Hodaka then treated Kisuke to eat, but Kisuke seemed to take advantage of it so that he would be given beer, which was quite expensive. The ship finally arrived at the capital, where Tokyo was experiencing the worst weather period with rain that had never stopped for months. Before they parted ways, Kisuke gave his business card to Hodaka so that if anything happened, Hodaka could contact him. At first, Hodaka thought this person would take advantage of him. Hodaka ignored the business card that Kisu gave him because he was sure he would get his own job in Tokyo after this. But life in the capital was ruthless, especially for a 16-year-old like Hodaka. In addition, he didn't have adequate skills, so he had difficulty finding a decent job. Eventually, Hodaka's stash of money was almost gone. He was forced to become homeless and ate instant noodles every day to make a living. But Hodaka hadn't given up and didn't want to return to his hometown, even if he had to fall asleep on the side of the road. While trying to rest at the doorstep of a nightclub, he found a hungry cat and gave it the biscuits he had brought. Because the rain was still weighty, Hodaka fell asleep in that place and was awakened by a man with two comfort women. Hodaka, who was in a hurry to leave, instead hit a trash can so that the trash was scattered. He cleaned it up and accidentally found a package that contained a gun. Thinking the gun was a toy gun, Hodaka picked it up and took it with him. Given his increasingly thin financial condition, he returned to take shelter at NCD and only ordered drinks. Then the fast food restaurant waiter came to give him a burger because she felt sorry for Hodaka, who had come to her restaurant for three days without ordering any food. Hodaka became happy because it was the most delicious food he had eaten since he was in Tokyo. It turned out that the waiter was Hina Amano, the girl who was introduced earlier in the film. Because Hodaka could find another job, finally, Hodaka desperately contacted Kisuke, the man who had saved him and went to the address on his business card. When he arrived at his destination, Kisuke was not at home. Hodaka only met a beautiful woman who was fast asleep on the couch. The woman was Natsumi Suga, Kisuke's niece and assistant. After waking up, Natsumi immediately greeted Hodaka well. While waiting for Kisuke to return, Natsumi asked Hodaka a few things. Then Kisuke came and told him he was a freelance writer at a magazine that raised mystical phenomena. Kisuke, who understood that Hodaka was looking for a job, immediately offered him a job to find unique topics related to news that was currently viral on social media, especially about sunny girls or girls who were blessed with being able to change the weather, which was always rainy to be sunny. With Natsumi, Hodaka met several witnesses who had something to do with the sunny girl news to be interviewed. Even though they hadn't found the person, they got a lot of information about the sunny girl. One was from a psychic who said that a sunny girl ignored nature, and whoever ignored nature had to pay the price. Apart from hiring Hodaka as a writer's assistant, Kisuke also handed over all other tasks, including took care of the house with facilities and daily meals being borne by Kisuke. Hodaka was willing to get low wages, in between times, Hodaka went to visit the cat he had met. In the pouring rain, he accidentally saw a girl who once gave him a box of burgers. The girl was Haina, who was with the two people who once kicked him out when he fell asleep at the club's entrance. When Haina was forced into the nightclub, Hodaka immediately grabbed Hina's hand and took her from the two men. But unfortunately, 
Hodaka was caught and immediately beaten hard by one of the men. Feeling cornered, Hodaka took out a gun, considered a toy, pointing it at the man. After giving it a shot, it turned out that the gun he had previously found in the trash heap was real. The shot left the man unmoved. Luckily, the shot didn't hit him. Aina then took Hodaka to escape to an old building that appeared at the beginning of the film to avoid big trouble. Aina then snapped at Hodaka for his stupid actions because he could threaten someone's life. Hodaka immediately threw the gun away and said he didn't know it was real. Hina then said that she had been fired from her job as a fast food restaurant waitress and was offered a new job by the two people with the promise of a sizable reward. Hina needed money to fulfill her and her brother's needs because Hina's parents, who appeared at the beginning of the film, had died. Hodaka disappointedly apologized to Hina for messing up her plans. Hina, who saw Hodaka's sincerity, immediately accepted Hodaka's apology and asked him to go up to the top of the building to show him something. Amidst the drizzle from the dark clouds, Hina told Hodaka that the sky would brighten soon. Hina then closed her eyes and prayed. Hodaka was surprised to see Hina's ability to control the weather. Because sure enough, a moment later, the sun began to appear. In an instant, the weather in Tokyo became bright. From here, Hodaka discovered that Hana was the sunny girl he had been looking for. Before that, the two of them met and became friends. Hodaka then thought that Hina could make money using the abilities she had. Hodaka also suggested that Hina opened an online sunny weather visitor service. Hina, who was interested in Hodaka's suggestion, agreed. The next day, they immediately carried out the plan at Hina's apartment. When a request brought sunny weather, Hina's younger brother, Naji Amano, arrived home after school. With Hodaka at his house, Naji asked Hina who the stranger was. Hina introduced Hodaka as her friend and explained that they were running something that could make money. Naji then joined in and would help his sisters work. It took a little while for them to receive the calls and requests that started arriving from the people of Tokyo who needed sunny weather. From small to big events, Hina was now known as a sunny girl by the people of Tokyo. She felt happy and lived her profession with all her heart. Hina was also grateful to Hodaka for helping her find a job she liked. One day they were asked to bring sunny weather to a grandmother's house because today was her late husband's death anniversary. They visited the home of Taki Tachibana's grandmother, whose story was in the Kiminanawa film. Taki, who was also there, had a chat with Hodaka. In the middle of their conversation, Hodaka remembered Hina, who would soon have a birthday. Hodaka, who intended to give a present to Hina, then asked Natsumi for a reference on what gift was suitable for a girl. However, the option provided by Natsumi seemed inappropriate to be used as a birthday present to be given to Hina. Naji gave another idea to Hodaka for him to give his sister a ring because it would make his sister happy. He followed Naji's advice and headed to the jewelry shop to choose a ring to give to Hina. After finding a ring to give to Hina, Hodaka, who was still unsure, asked the ring shopkeeper, Mitsuha Miyamizu, for advice. Mitsuha convinced Hodaka that every girl would love to be given a ring as a birthday present. The next day, Hana received a request to bring sunny weather from a man who wanted to take his daughter to play in the hospital garden. That man was none other than Kisuke. It turned out that he had a daughter that his mother-in-law raised because her daughter had asthma. Kisuke was only allowed to bring his daughter when it was sunny. Then Natsumi came and was happy to meet the sunny girl Hina Amano. On his way home, Hodaka, who was taking Hina back to her apartment, tried to work up the courage to give her a birthday present. However, before he gave it to her, Hodaka was shocked because Hina was suddenly blown into the sky by a gust of wind, and when Hina came back down, Hodaka saw that Hina's arms had become transparent like rainwater. Hina then said that a sunny girl had a destiny that could save Tokyo from a long rainy season. But in exchange, the sunny girl would exchange her body for the price to pay when Hina used her powers. Knowing this, Hodaka then forbid Hina from using her powers. After they arrived at Hina's apartment, it was only a short time before the police came to look for a boy named Hodaka Morishima. Because in CCTV footage, Hodaka was recorded pointing a gun at someone. Besides that, Hodaka's parents in his hometown had also made a report on Hodaka's disappearance, but Hina said that she didn't recognize him. The police warned Hina to stay at the social service because Hina and her brother were living without parents or guardians to accompany them. After that, they left, and Hodaka met Kisuke, who came to deliver Naji home. Since Kisuke was the only adult Hodaka knew in Tokyo, he hoped Kisuke could help him. However, Kisuke refused because he was fighting for custody of his daughter in court, 
and did not want to get involved in other problems. Kisu paid Hodaka's wages in full and told him to return to his hometown. Hodaka then returned to Hina's apartment, where Hina and Nagi were packing to escape so they won't be forced into social service. Hodaka, who didn't want to return to where he came from, invited them to run away together. The three of them ended up going out together that night. Tokyo was in extreme weather. Storms and typhoons threatened the city as they would drown it. If Hina hadn't used her power, the city would have been continuously shrouded in dark clouds. Because indirectly, Hina was a sunny girl connected to the sky. Not long, the weather changed from rain to snow. The three of them, tired of walking, decided to find a place to stay. They were then approached by police officers who recognized Hodaka as the person they were looking for. Hodaka was arrested. Aina then accidentally used her weather-bending powers to summon lightning and managed to distract the officers. <laughs> they escaped and secured themselves in a luxury hotel. They could finally rest while enjoying the facilities provided by the hotel. While having some one-on-one -on -one time with Hina, Hodaka took the opportunity to give her a ring he had previously bought as a birthday present. This made Hina happy, and she liked the gift Hodaka gave her. Then she pointed out that half of her body had become transparent. She was worried that she would disappear any minute. Hina asked Hodaka to take care of Naji. Hodaka then tried to convince her by saying it wouldn't happen while putting a ring on Hina's finger. Hina then thanked Hodaka and hugged him. The next day, Hodaka, who woke up, did not find Hina beside him and left only her clothes. Hodaka frantically looked for Hina's whereabouts. Naji told him he had a dream last night about his sister flew and disappeared into the sky. Hodaka suspected that Hina had sacrificed herself to bring out the clear sky he was seeing right now. Not long after, the police who managed to find Hodaka's whereabouts immediately arrested him and Naji. Meanwhile, Hina, who was above the sky, dropped the ring that Hodaka had given her to the earth, which Hodaka picked up before being taken to the police station. While at the police station, Hodaka, who got the chance to escape, immediately ran away. Natsumi, who saw Hodaka being chased by the police, then helped him and said that Nagi had called her from the child consultation center and told her that Hina had disappeared and Hodaka had been arrested. Hodaka then asked Natsumi to be escorted to an old building with a red Tori gate above it. However, due to being hampered by flooding, which motorbikes could not pass, Hodaka continued running. Arriving at the old building, Hodaka met up with Kisuke, who was also there to take him back to the police station. But Hodaka refused and tried to escape by biting Kisuke's hand. Kisuke then kicked him down, making Hodaka found a gun that he had thrown on the floor. He seriously threatened Kisuke not to get in his way and said he only wanted to meet Hina one last time. Hodaka opened fire to get Kisuke to get away, but the police came to storm the place after hearing gunshots. When Hodaka was about to be detained, Kisuke touched on saving him. He finally helped Hodaka to escape. Naji arrived at the place and helped dispel the police blocking Hodaka. He asked Hodaka to save his sister and took responsibility for the idea that made Hina a sunny girl. Hodaka ran again and made it to the top of the building. After entering the Tori gate, Hodaka teleported to another realm above the sky where Hina was. Hina, Hina who was unconscious, then heard a voice calling her name. She was surprised after seeing Hodaka. Hodaka tried to take Hina away from that place and persuaded her to return to Earth. Hina, who thought that if she returned, Tokyo would also experience bad weather again, refused Hodaka's invitation. But she changed her mind after Hodaka said he didn't care even if the weather wasn't clear because Hodaka needed Hina more than the blue sky. Hearing this, Hina finally complied with Hodaka to return. Along with Hina's return, heavy rain also returned. The police then took Hina, Kisuke, Natsumi, and Naji. Meanwhile, Hodaka was sent back to his hometown, which was on a remote island. After three years, it rained continuously, making Tokyo almost drowned by the water. Hodaka, who had finished high school education, returned to Tokyo to meet Hina. He met Kisuke, who was currently growing his business. Hodaka also visited an old grandmother who had hired the services of a sunny girl to apologize to the grandmother because Tokyo was sinking, so she was forced to move away. Then in a scene explaining that, indeed, in the Edo period, Tokyo was only an ocean which today would return to being an ocean. So Hodaka didn't need to apologize because it wasn't his fault. Hodaka then took a walk on the path he had traveled with Hina to reminisce. 
He stopped after seeing a girl who was praying at the end of the street. Hodaka, who recognized the girl was none other than Hina Amano, then called out to her, accompanied by tears in his eyes. With enthusiasm, Hodaka and Hina approached each other and hugged each other. The film ends, which is marked by the happiness of both of them. That is the storyline of Tenki no Ko or Weathering with You. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you are entertained. Remember to like this video and subscribe. See you again in the next video.